What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you the Season 27 Magic Missile Firebirds build for Diablo 3. So I'm gonna bring this to you today. Uh, we're gonna go over, we're gonna do a GR90. This is gonna be for GR90 speeds. We're clearing GR90s in about two to three minutes. So this build is really, really fun. Um, the only thing with it, I will say guys, is it does take a nice little rotation of abilities to really pop off and you kinda need to group up a bunch of monsters. But we're gonna get in, we're gonna do this build. We have the magic missile angelic power on our fragment of destiny. So as always, we're going to go in, we're going to display the build for you guys, talk about it, and then we're going to come out, go over everything, and then a couple changes that we have that we made that I think are really good, and we'll talk about how we used to have it set up. So let's jump right into it, okay? So GR90s, so how the build works before we go in, guys, is we want to pop deflection. We're going to have this on always, and we're just going to go over to disintegrate. We're going to disintegrate everything because of the six... Uh, set power we're gonna uh, get our combustion combustion stacks and then we're gonna kill everything with magic missile okay we have explosive blast chain reaction for defense and then we have spell steel to group up a bunch of enemies get a big damage increase and then blow them away with magic missile and teleport to get around because it gets reset constantly okay so let's do this all right not a not a not not the worst map so the idea here is you want to kind of just group them up you know, kill everything. I just kind of hate the rotations when it comes to uh, the combustion stacks. But we're able to just do everything really, really fast. Now, the build is really cool. It's going to be great for not speeds. But the pushing variant is not too different. So keep that in mind, guys. Oh, my gosh, dude. I play this build so bad. I like, I like the LOD Magic Missile build where we just kind of fly around. You know, we just cast a couple things and just destroy stuff we don't even gotta we don't even gotta worry about other things man we just we just cast it okay that's it so i don't want to say that this relies on having big groups of enemies but it does help if you can you know kind of kite them together hit them all with the little combustion sacks and you notice that with the the flame that's above their head that means they have been ignited so you do that and then your next magic missile attack is going to do all that increased damage, which is just fantastic. Can we destroy everything? The build is very, very strong. It's just you have to go through this cycle of abilities to really make it happen. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just me and my simple mind. You know, I'd rather play... Oops, we didn't get the finish on him. I'd rather play builds that are, you know, not so, like, rotational unless I'm doing high GR pushes. Uh, but, I mean, the build is fun. It, it's it's not bad at all, guys. We're, uh, yeah, we go this way. And just kill everything. But you do need to have things ignited. You have to have things ignited. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. You're not going to do any damage. There we go. Finally, a good map. Oh my god, I just got catapulted. See, now, big groups like this, this these kind of maps is where this build definitely excels. You're able to just move around, try to kite them up easy, keep your explosive stuff going, boom, and then they all die. Like, that part is very fun. You're casting Explosive Blast basically as much as you're doing anything else. And we turn and just kill everything. Easy. Destroying the, the Rift Guardians. No problem. See, we cleared it just under three minutes. And that's probably a user error, guys. That's probably a user error. You know what I mean? That's that's a big user error for us. We uh we don't play the build as well as some other wizard mains, but we're gonna rank up this gem. I'm gonna see you guys back in town for the gear. All right, guys, we're back in town. Let's check how fast we cleared this. Two minutes forty three seconds. Again for GR ninety speed farming, we want to keep it between two and three minutes. Ideally, I would love to keep it as close to two minutes as possible and have that be the average. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. So let's go over the build and everything that you guys are going to need. Firebird's Finery, we're going to be using all six pieces. As we talked about in the GR, everything goes from 
uh, disintegrating our enemies and igniting them, which gives combustion stacks, which then our next fire attack, which is going to be magic missile, is going to destroy everything, okay? So we get a big increase in damage when we have the combustion stacks. We get a big damage reduction, and it also resets our teleport, which is awesome, so we can just fly around the map. Okay, so you got the Firebird set. We're pairing this with Captain Crimson's for the cooldown reduction and the resource cost reduction. And then we're also pairing it with the Guardian set. I like the Guardian set because it gives that 100% to all of our uh, base abilities and attributes. So we get a big jump here in sheet damage and toughness. I think this is really good. We're going to go over some changes that I did make to it, but I like the Guardian set. We also paired this with Squirt's Amulet for more damage, as well as Focus and Restraint, guys, for even more damage. Focus and Restraint is going to be up nonstop, so there's no reason not to have this damage. Although, there's probably some different things that you could do, uh, but I like Focus and Restraint. And then, of course, we have the other Firebirds set in the offhand, and then Fragment of Destiny with the Angelic Crack Power for Magic Missiles that get the Seeker Room. Okay? So, those are our stats. We got... Uh, in the legendary gems, we got Bane of the Powerful for more damage. Um, and then we have uh, Gogok of Swiftness for dodge and cooldown reduction. And, of course, Bane of the Trap. If you really wanted to, you could swap out Bane of the Powerful for Bane of the Trap. Or uh, Bane of, what is it, Bane of the Stricken for just um, increased damage against the same target that you're hitting. But you don't necessarily need that because with the combustion stacks, you should be basically one-shotting them after uh, you ignite them. So, legendary gems. Into the cube, guys, we got Orb of Infinite Death, which is going to give, or Depth, which is going to give us the increased damage and damage reduction with Explosive Blast. That should be up always. Uh, Shame of Dalzir uh, attacks uh, our, our signature spells, Magic Missile attack faster and give us more arcane power. This should be nonstop full for the most part. Uh, Ring of Royal Grandeur to complement all the three different sets. Into our skills, we got Magic Missile Conflagrate. Uh, for fire, we got uh, Disintegrate Chaos Nexus, which is how you see all the beams shoot out of our back uh, just to help ignite everything. Uh, teleport Wormhole, so we can teleport multiple times. Uh, arcane, or excuse me, Magic Weapon Deflection for more uh, defense. Explosive Blast Chain Reaction, which um, ignites multiple times, so that way we can keep our stacks up. And then we have Black Hole Spell Steal which is going to give us even more damage and help group them up to kill them even faster. Into our passives, Galvanizing Ward for increased shield protection, uh, Evocation for reduced cooldowns. This just helps us keep everything up, okay? Everything should be up nonstop. This is in particular for these two uh, because Teleport's going to get reset from our Firebird set, but these two in particular. Then we got, uh, what is it, uh, Audacity for additional damage within 15 yards because we're teleporting around so much and we're grouping them up. We're going to get them in very close quarters, so this just gives us additional damage. And then, of course, Dominance to give us even more shield as we're killing stuff because, again, Wizards are pretty dang squishy. All right, so that's the skills and passives, guys. Let's get into the stat priorities and kind of what you're looking for here. You want, on the helm, you want Intelligence, Vitality, Crit Chance. Shoulders, you want Int, Vit, Cooldown and all resource cost reduction. This is fine. I like this. Uh, you could change out resource cost reduction for something else, but I like that. Gloves, you got intelligence, crit, crit, cooldown. Uh, the chest, you want intelligence, vit, life. You could also do that on here. You could do intelligence, vit, cooldown, life on here if you want because wizards are squishy. Uh, in the squirts necklace, we got intelligence, crit, crit. Uh, really, you would want crit, crit, area damage be, and just remove intelligence altogether. Uh, in the bracers, you want fire skill damage, intelligence, vit, and then crit chance. We just made these for the build, guys, so I haven't had a chance to fix these properly, but that's what you would want. In the belt, you would want intelligence, vit, all resist, and armor. I just need to change the electrocute damage to uh, intelligence, but that's what you would want there. The uh, pants, you want intelligence, vit, armor, or all and all resist if you can get it. Uh, the boots, you want intelligence, vit, armor, and then you would want life... Uh, or magic missile damage. We just weren't able to get it. Um, sucks. Feels bad. In our rings, we want the same thing, guys. We're going to want uh, intelligence crit crit. Or you want to get rid of crit for cooldown or um, attack speed. Uh, really, you would want attack speed crit crit on both of your rings. So those are the stat priorities. So let's get into a couple things I changed over before ending the video. So what I used to run is I would run the pants we got our awesome uh, Primal Ancient 
Captain Crimson's role, which is great. But we would roll, we would put this in there, so that way we still have captains, but we ran Ogduel. We ran Ogduel instead of the Guardian set. Now you see that we do lose about um, 800,000 sheet damage, and then we lose about 20 million toughness. Okay, uh, so you see that here, we go up. Um, so we lose a little bit of that, but you do get the increased damage dealt and the reduction, damage reduction, which is nice. And then you do increase damage against elites. But again, we ran guardians and we have no problem with elites. So to me, I prefer the guardian set over the Ogdul set. Uh, that's just me personally, but guys, that way also works for the build. Um, so it's totally up to you, but I like Guardians just more because it also helps Wizards stay alive because, again, they're squishy. Okay, that's going to do it for the build today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video really does help you out if you guys are Wizard mains. I know Firebirds is still strong, and it's going to be good with Magic Missile, and it'll still be good after the power goes away with um, the Spectral Blades that you can put on here, which will be uh, Flame Blades. Uh, that is still very, very powerful, but, again, I think with the meteor build that is just the best thing to play right now for wizards but this build is very very strong so if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop a like guys um if you are new here be sure to subscribe i appreciate all the support let me know down in the comments guys which version that you guys like do you guys like guardians do you guys like all duels or maybe you're running something different let me know down in the comments um but that's gonna do it for me as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace